Hey everyone, welcome to Small Screen Reactions. My name is Andrew and I'm here to react to Hot Stopper Season 3, Episode 4. I'm very excited to watch this, you guys. I have loved the first three episodes. And you know what I did realize? Who we have not seen in the first three episodes, which has made me very happy, is Harry. And then what's his name, who I choose to not remember his name subconsciously for some reason, and I'm fine with that. Uh, we haven't seen those two douches, so happy. But we'll see what happens. You know, we're back in school and everything, and... Everyone's back, and Charlie. Oh, I hope everything's good with Charlie. I hope. All right, so thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, check out Patreon. The link is down below in the description box if you want unedited and early reactions to this show and all my others. So thank you for watching, and without further ado, here we go. Ooh, Christmas time. Wow, we're really jumping here. Bath, huh? We just had summer. We're skipping right to Christmas. Charlie wants to get home and unpacked and stuff. I'm so excited to see him. But I can't believe it's been two months. Two months? Did Charlie go away to get help? Have you done any journaling? <laughs> uh, I still don't really think I'm a journaling sort of person. <laughs> Everyone can journal, Nicholas. I've always thought about journaling, but I'm like, am I that kind of person? Every day, I'd literally have a breakdown. All right, all right, you don't have to give me the whole pitch again. Have you even tried it? I've never tried uh, it. If I try it, will you stop pressuring me? <laughs> yes. Are you choosing a page in the middle of the book? No, no, no. Not in the beginning? Get better. I think I understand that now. Okay, journal. Journey. Uh, After wrong. September, Charlie had a GP appointment. Oh. Thursday, 9.45. Yes, that's great, thank you. He said he hates going to the doctors. I mean, who enjoys going that's to the doctors? That's true. Psychos. Must have gone okay, because he got referred to an eating disorder service. Okay. But the first appointment for that wasn't until January. Oh, wow. Things started to get really bad after that. Oh, no. No, His no. His eating disorder got worse. Can you just stop trying? Oh god, no. It's... Oh god. Hey, we're just worried about you. What can you stop? I don't have to tell you everything. He's getting angrier. He started skipping school a lot. Oh wow. So this really got worse. And it was becoming unbearable for him. Sorry. Oh. I, I, I thought it was going to get better, not worse. I just feel so shit all the time. And I've been so horrible to you and everyone else. And... It's okay, they know you don't mean it. It didn't feel like enough, but I guess I tried. I tried to just be there. Oh. <laughs> Have some fun with each other, yeah. Oh. Oh, they're cutting Darcy's hair. Oh. Why are they doing that? Oh. He knew the compulsions made no sense, but he didn't know how to stop them. Oh, we're going through all the months until he gets back from his thing. I know. Uh, I just feel so stupid. Accident. No, it's, it's not your fault. What happened? But I can't stop it. But I get to skip school for a bit. Mm -hmm. So this is when he goes away in October. Don't cry. If you cry, I'll cry. Oh, if you both cry, I'll cry. I'm not sure I can help it. No. <clears throat> <clears throat> Oh God! No, don't don't go read online stuff, please don't. I tried to keep myself busy, or distracted, or both. Oh God! Oh. I wasn't very good at it though. Oh God. Okay. Yeah, me too. At least he doesn't have to wait until January. He's yeah. probably made some friends as well. Maybe. Sorry, how much do you play this game? Where's Charlie been? He's missed like the last four practices. Oh, they don't know. 
Must be bad if he's been off this long. Yeah, he's... Yeah. Pretty bad. Seriously? What's going on? Oh, God. I, I can't. Yeah, it's not your place to say. I just can't really talk about it. Oh, good mate. That's... Yeah. Where have you? Good friends. Look at these. Oh, these good friends now. We kept the good ones, got rid of the, old, the bad ones. Oh, Love it. Why do you have a soul? Yeah. Love me some Smash Bros. I could though. tell our friends what was going on. Either That's one good. Visiting, but they still found a way to show their support. That's nice. Pretty box. Maybe we could put some self care stuff. Like oh. Face masks. Love it. What about bald? Oh, Darcy's hair. Yeah. She's going a little more masculine. Do you think they need gay sort of shop? <laughs> <laughs> I'll make a book list for him. Oh, what about movies? Does he have access to a Blu-ray player at all? Yeah, probably. What's a Blu-ray player? <laughs> <laughs> Did Sahar tell you she's having a massive Halloween party? Ooh, Halloween, my favorite holiday. Yeah. Imogen keeps on sending me couples costume ideas. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna come then? I don't know. I could use a night out. Yeah. I know I could. It's a good distraction. Yeah, it just... <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, he looked good. Yeah, he is Captain America, damn. You're supposed to be my cat. Uh, fine. Can we something? <laughs> It's fine, we'll work out. It's a cool party though. <laughs> of course. I'm making a video for Charlie so he knows how much we all love him. I've never seen Danny Darko, but I know the bunny. Nelson, what do you have to say to your boyfriend, Charlie Spring? Hmm. Oh God. I love you. Well, <laughs> you had it here Nick Nelson loves Charlie Spring. Okay, that's great. Oh, I'm tired. Cool rabbit costume. <laughs> I'm clearly Frank from Donny Dark. Oh, Frank, that's his name. I watched it last week. No, we didn't. We were asleep again. Nick drinking. Like without Charlie, he's just, oh, whoa, so hard. Imogen, okay, I guess that is officially. Oh wait, no, now they're fighting already. Don't drink too much, Nick. Oh, ew. Everyone kisses everyone when they're drunk. I'm mm. allowed to experiment. Yeah. It's getting wild. Love these costumes, though. Aww. Mind if I join? Needs a friend right now, yeah. It's like missing these moments with Charlie. It's it's gotta be rough. Oh, will make me cry. Nick cried. <laughs> this is like the saddest thing. At the start of November, okay, November. Me from the clinic for the first time. Yay! Well, next year, I'm a Spider-Man. Your Marvel agenda is never gonna work on me. <laughs> I love the Marvel references. I go as Mary Jane. Hmm? <laughs> Upside down kiss. Okay, maybe I can be persuaded. <laughs> so I have anorexia and OCD. Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah, there's not really an, an awkward way to say that. Yeah, really, just blurt that out, okay. I guess that makes sense. It does. I mean, I was a bit surprised by the OCD, but... I'm not too surprised by that. I got those in my head about I can see it. <sighs> Sorry, I have to laugh about it or I'll just cry. Yeah, what do you need to do? Well, even if you do have anorexia and OCD, the word sorry is still banned. Yes. Oh, can't I play the mental illness card now? <laughs> no, 
the S word rule still applies to the mentally ill. Yep. <laughs> no apologizing of stuff you don't need to apologize for. I'd visit him with his family a couple times. That's nice. Part of me wished I could go every day, but he needed space. That looks like a awkward car ride. What? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Still not sure if Tori likes me. It's hard to tell what Tori thinks in general. I think she does, though. She knows you care about her brother, and she cares about her brother. I think that's all she cares about. <laughs> We're united. Oh, oh! He looks so much happier. Oh, this is so sweet. <laughs> I knew he wasn't magically better. Or yeah, like it's a process. You, he never goes away. Oh, sneak off for a moment. Please. I think they both needed this. Maybe it's just me hoping for the best, but honestly, I think it helped. I, I agree. I really do. I think. All right, so now we're here and he's coming back soon today. And we back. We went through all this. It was a struggle, but all pushed through with help, helping each other out. And now he's back. I guess a lot's happened since I last wrote anything. Oh, now we're going to see Charlie's point of view of what he's been through these past couple of months. Is it Charlie? Oh. My therapist said I should write about it in my journal. Okay, good. Now he's hiding away. Oh no. Isolating himself, just everything crumbling. Ugh. Oh no. It's hard to talk about. Staying in the clinic for a couple of months was not my plan. But I should count myself lucky that my parents could even afford it. Yeah. And some people can't. actually managed to help me. From what I've read online, some people come out of these places even worse than when they went in. Oh. Because they just get treated like shit. Yeah. I didn't get treated like shit. That's really good. But how do I talk to my friends? Well, there is a landline on the ward. <laughs> Much nicer than DMing your friends on Snapchat or whatever it is <laughs> kids are using these days. And it's also where I met Jeff. So. Just getting some help. A group of people to help him out. This is nice. I still had to do schoolwork, which that actually sucks. made me feel better. <laughs> knowing I wasn't going to be behind everyone else when I got out. Oh, that is true, yeah. Never understood it. Same. Doesn't make sense to me. And I met a few nice people. That's good. Probably not like lifelong friends. For the moment, but friends. I wasn't alone. Friends for the moment to help you through this current position you're in. I think a part of me didn't even want to get better. Because putting in the effort to change seemed too hard. Oh, I get that. Can't. Losing weight, calorie counting. But from my perspective, your eating disorder is connected to obsessions and compulsions. Yeah. Eating the right thing and in the right circumstances. Charlie, does that sound accurate? It does. So let's unpack that. The actual eating disorder treatment stuff was not very fun. I imagine, yeah. But it's hard work, but it's good work. He's seeming a little happier. Seeming to get a little more help. I want to talk to him too. He's my favorite. Oh. <laughs> Your friends are quite annoying. <laughs> I like him. I knew it. I knew she liked him. You solemnly swear that you'll stop telling me how amazing and wonderful <laughs> and making me feel forever alone. <laughs> right? These kids annoy me. Make me feel forever alone. I have to laugh about it or I will just cry. 
Well, even if you do have anorexia and OCD, the word sorry is still banned. <laughs> Oh. Could you look up Tal's number? Um, I've been making a present. You don't have to do that. Shut up. <laughs> you, of course okay. he does. What is it? Uh, it's a surprise. <laughs> then why'd you mention it? Fine. I won't say anything next time. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't tell you about all of this. It's, he understands. No sorry. I didn't exactly make it easy for you. We're having your summer of love. It's not a crime. Yeah. Well, I love you too. <laughs> so... Oh. Can I ask you how was that kind of a shit question right now? Yeah, it's kind of a shit question. <laughs> and I had no idea. I was good at hiding it. Yeah. But I missed it. It's okay, everyone else did too. Can you explain to me what happened with Imogen and Zahar? Because Nick was being way too empathetic about it and I, I <laughs> what happened. Oh my god, yes. Okay, so yes, please explain. Imogen was doing shots like all night. I mean a whole bottle of tequila. Mm -hmm. A whole bottle of tequila. Aww. I love the game to see both perspectives from each side. The person going through it and the person who's supporting and loves them going through it. Tao Su, and this is my short film about the everyday lives of my friends group. Okay. Well, my friends group minus one, who we all love very much. Aww. I hope that by watching this video, he'll feel like he's been here the whole time. Because... Yeah, he's filming everything that's going on so he doesn't miss he it. Tell that doesn't even make any sense. <laughs> yeah, it does. Hey, Charlie. So, um, I read the Song of Achilles, like you suggested. I love that. I know you said it was condemned, but, um, I wasn't prepared and I cried for about four hours. <laughs> Thank you for that. I really appreciate that. I haven't read Song of Achilles yet, but I read Cersei, and I've been dying to read the Song of Achilles, but I don't have it. Uh, well... Because I asked you if you were okay, and I guess you just lied. Yeah, but... I, mean, I, I sort of knew that. Uh, yeah. It's not... We're never going to judge you. Uh, we love you, so... Aww. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Come on, Isaac, we need to do the tour. <laughs> Let me take the camera. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> guys. Barbie and Dracula seem making out that. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on here? <laughs> Uh, Is this just a joke? Awkward. Documentary code of ethics. Uh oh. I'm just documenting reality like you wanted. Yeah, to. It, that's reality. Hi, Charlie. I just wanted to let you know that I'm trying out they them pronouns. Oh, good for you. Still, I don't know, but I feel like you get it. Yeah, he would. He gets it. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him what? So, I posted a new painting on Instagram. Nice. Yeah. And now I have over 10,000 followers. Wow, congrats. A famous artist. <laughs> that not that many. Go talk to Tara about her new prefect thing. Prefect, oh. Let me introduce you to Higgs, newest school prefect. Nice. No, it's not the biggest deal. My girlfriend is the smartest person in the entire world. <laughs> She's a prefect. She goes, Tal, give me that. I don't know if you have a phone in there, Charlie. Oh, I think he'd like to look These two. Yes. Of course everyone knows by now. Say hi to Charlie, sir. <laughs> hi, Charlie. <laughs> hi, Charlie. Uh, there's a spare seat waiting for you. <laughs> so awkward. Thanks, Tao. Bye, Charlie. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I know this looks like a painting for you, Aww. but if this turns out really good, then I'm keeping it. Yeah. <laughs> I miss you, Charlie. Aww. I love you. These videos are very touching. I think this is the end of the video now. Maybe. Anyway, we just want to say that when you get home, we've got a lot planned. Do we? Oh, God. <laughs> and our friends group really isn't the same without you. But we know you're doing what you need to do right now. Yeah. yeah. Love. Yeah. By the way, I'm still mad at you about the song of Achilles. <laughs> What's that? It's a book thing, don't worry about it. Okay. Now I need to read it. Hi, Charlie. I love you. 
No. This is so cute. I love they showed us this whole video. Being at the clinic didn't magically cure me of mental illness. Yeah, of course. I know it's scary, but you're ready for this, Charlie. And we can carry on our sessions once a week for as long as you need. Great. So even if it's terrible out there, I'll be here to help. That's that's great. I'm... But it got me out of the deep end. Yeah. Aww. You are gonna be all right. Thank you. Just I love his yourself. support. All this support and love. Right, kicking you out now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ready? Yeah. I think he is. Best sister ever. Love, love this relationship. I think that's okay though. It's not going to be a straightforward journey. Yeah. It's probably just the beginning. Oh yeah, yeah. Plenty more to go. Yeah. It says lasagna on your meal plan for today. Is is that all right? Yeah. That's good. Okay. Love. The mom is supportive and following schedule. Yeah. Do I have time to go and say hi to Nick? Oh. I'll be back for dinner. Okay. <laughs> go on then. Yeah. Yes. I love these two. Oh, we're back together. We're healing. We're doing better. Loving it. So cute. Oh, that was a good episode. I love that it's not drawn out. I kind of like that they just did it like, kind of like they did the last episode where they went three weeks. This is another time jump of months though, September through December basically. It seems like December, I think end November, beginning of somewhere in December here. Um, but they show us from both sides, which I like. We see Nick's side and then Charlie's side of what happens in these p months of Nick, of Charlie going to a place to get help for his eating disorder and struggling at first before he went and how everything got a bit worse before it got better and then how Charlie was talking to no one for a while and he was gone and away and Nick is trying to deal with that. It shows the side of the person going through the eating disorder, and then you see the side of the people that support and love him going through it, trying to help, but not really being able to do much besides sit and wait, and the pain of that. And it's really sad, both sides. But what matters is he got help, he's doing better, he's back now. I have a feeling we're probably gonna hit a road bump, a road bump or two, but the thing is he has the tools to what he needs to do better for when he does hit a road bump his parents are aware his friends are aware nick's aware they'll all be there to help out and support him and guide him through this new journey of his very happy i can't wait to see what's gonna happen in the second half of this season we're halfway through already you guys that is insane and it's only been one weekend it only came out a few days ago and i've already watched the first four so that means if you're watching this right now on YouTube, I might already be done on, I'm probably already done on Patreon with the whole season, so most likely, if not, I might just have the one left to go, but most likely it'll be done. So, because episode one has, has not come out yet on YouTube, but, but when it does, episode four will be coming, this will be coming out the same day episode one comes out on YouTube, that this comes out on Patreon, so just saying. Go to Patreon, check it out. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe. Um, I hope you all are having a fantastic day. I really hope you are. And I will see you guys next episode, okay? Bye.